Hey guys, it's Gretchen here with Cat and Paws. I've recruited Mark to help me do my grocery haul. So we went to CVS, Walmart, uh, Home Goods, and that was it, right? Yeah. And the country store. Yeah, oh yeah, and the farmer's market. Oh, where's your phone? And Skitters is diving. He must have food. Okay. And then we went to Costco yesterday, and that's where we spent all of our money at. Pretty much. Oh, Mark got Italian icey. Nice. All right, you gonna show what we got? Okay, this is just the grocery stuff we got at Walmart. So we got some V8. This is Mark's thing, the fruit juice thingy. I'm gonna make hash brown casserole. You can find that recipe on the Orida bag. Uh, I already put the frozen stuff away. Cat treats. Got some hot fudge sauce. Cat food. Lots of kitty treats and kitty food. And then we got some bread. I was actually looking for the Martin's potato bread, but they were out. They only had the wheat. And then we were also looking for the Pepperidge Farm sourdough. They were out of that too. So we'll try this one. That's a nice large loaf. Um, that's from the farmer's market cantaloupe I know it was wet when I picked oh. it up and it felt good yeah is that actually cantaloupe or musk melon uh, might be musk melon and then we got some corn, corn. for tonight I think so we got six <laughs> ears and Oh, cheese for the hash brown casserole. Yeah. And then we got some cookies. Hopefully snickerdoodle. Let's try them out. Because they're hard to smell through the plastic. Oh. Mark, can you open this? Yep. Try them. Tell me what you think. Good? Snickerdoodle? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. Fine? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me let, let me let Kitty out. It's hot out here today. 94. Anybody else? And I'll show you what else I got at CVS and Walmart and Home Goods. I actually will insert some pictures at Home Goods. I want to show you this real quick too. So I signed up for a three-month subscription for Paper Pumpkin, and mine came the other day. This is the August, so it's supposed to be a complete card kit. And you, all you need is scissors. Um, this is my first time trying it. Uh, Tammy at TT Scrap, she's a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> she's actually my Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So it comes all wrapped in that. Comes with this little stamp ink thingy. Those, oh, it comes with a block because it was my first time. And some stamps, and I guess you just stick them on there and they stay, and then you gotta clean them off. It comes with that. Just says welcome, and I gotta, oops, can you get it? Mm -hmm. Yep. So there's that. Do you wanna open up that? See what's in it? This? Yeah. Hold on. So it's the only thing that comes with everything you need, I think, to make six cards. Oh. Okay. Row. So I'm going to try that hopefully today. Hmm. Sandpaper now. Oh, I think they're glue dots. I think that's what those are. I need to make them higher. They're like foamy twine, string, little pack of embellishments. And itty bitty clothespins. And little itty bitty clothespins. <coughs> Just cards. I think those are just cards. Hmm. Are you going to make 
cards with me later? Um, I think I'll pass on that yeah. one. I gotta get started <laughs> on the hinges. I'll show you what we're doing to our hinges. Mark did one last week and they give it a try. Yeah, I wanted to see if they would it would scratch with the, the door opening and closing before I put a lot of effort into it and see how long it take to dry and everything. Yeah. I think it's gonna look really nice when it's done. I don't it's like know. it's hand painted, but it's printed. Hmm. Oh, it does. Hmm. And some envelopes. Envelopes. Some more envelopes. Envelopes more. <laughs> paper. I wanted to fill their paper. Oh, that is pretty thick. Just how I thought it tasted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you have it. Oh, don't throw me my instructions either. All right, I'll throw that in a second. Okay. Oh, we changed out our knobs too. Remember the leaf knobs? Right. Now we got these. We got these at uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. I mean, nice. Fit your fingers without hurting you. Yes, without pulling them. Woo! That's nice. Uh, I want to show your hinges too. Okay, so there's our hinges. Let me show you a brass one. This Over there by the doorknob. Yeah. There. That's what they look like before and after. What is that, rubbed bronze or? Yeah. Yeah. It's in a spray can. You can really see it from inside better. It looks nice though. I like it. So our plans are to change, to spray out the handles and the hinges. And yeah. Hi, skaters. Hi, babies. So, like I said, we went to Costco yesterday. Spent a lot of money. Got me some Clorox disinfecting wipes. They had a, was it $2 off? So, it was like 10 something for the whole kit and caboodle. And then got some candy. Yes, they had Halloween candy out already. So, I got my glass jar out. All kinds of good stuff. This was at Costco. It was their... Just chocolate bag. Kit Kat, Snickers, peppermint patties. Mmm, my favorite. Mmm, mmm. And the grand, I mean, nummies. Plain and peanut. Uh, I'll show you Twix, Twix bars. Um, the only thing I really don't, well, I mean, the only thing that's going to be like left when the candy's all gone will be. Because Brett will eat those. Mark likes these. And these. And these. Brett likes it all. And he'll eat the peppermint patties. I eat the 100 grand in the Snickers. And the M&M's. The plain over the peanut. Yeah, do you like Almond Joys? Mm. Yeah? Yeah, I don't like Almond Joys. I can handle a Kit Kat if I'm forced to eat it. Uh... Where is it? The Milky Way. I think the last one in here. Mm, yeah, there's one down there. I think that's it. Oh, Reese Cups. I'll eat those. They kind of got smushed, though. So that's only half the bag in there. That's a lot of candy. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Mark's holding the camera for me now. I'm going to go show you what I got at Home Goods and CVS and uh, oh Walmart. All right. Hey. Okay. So I got my all my junk with me in the corner. Um, correction on the uh, wipes. These are from Costco. They're the Clorox disinfectant. What is it? Two citrus blend, two fresh scent, one orange fusion. 390 and I got them for $13.49 minus $2.80. So it comes out to $10.69. So not a bad deal. You know, you normally pick these up at the Dollar Tree. You get 15 per bag for a dollar. These are the Lysol. And um, what's there? $3.90 in there. 
I divide it by 15 in the other wipes, and that comes out to so it'd be 26 packs of these. So $26 versus $10.69. Uh, you know, I mean, for all you bargain shoppers out there who's curious. Anyways, let me move on. Walmart. They had a good many of their Yankee clearance candles or Yankee candles on clearance. And I had gotten some a couple weeks ago, just the one. Um, and they had them reduced even further. So I couldn't stop myself. Picked up a two wick and the 12 ounce uh, margarita, perfect margarita. That's what it looks like. And the lids from the tumbler candles actually fit this candle here. So, ah, it stuck down. Kind of light, like it's been sitting out too long. Um, it's actually maybe even a little discolored slightly, but uh, hey, I got it for four or five dollars. Can't beat that. I'll throw that away. Throw in that one. So there's that, and they had these on sale for two fifty. These are the little ones, the glass. I'm thinking I could definitely maybe reuse the jar. They are four ounce, again, in the perfect margarita. So I went ahead and got two of them. Um, I'm trying to remember what varieties they had. I want to say they had uh, an apple one, the sand one. Um, there was probably about six different kinds on clearance. And then... I sped past real quick because we were trying to check out. Then they actually had the new, newer ones up. Um, but I didn't stop and look at them. So there's that. Because I have a feeling when I go back, they'll be gone. Okay, so next up I went to see. Well, first we went to CVS. And they had um, a lot of their uh, summer out in Americana. And anything related to that was 50% off. So I picked up more of my red, white, and blue lights. I actually have a set of these. Um, they originally were two, two for ten dollars or five ninety nine each, and it's fifty percent off. Um, you could get a box for three dollars or two for five. So that's what I did. Um, not bad. I mean, I'll put them away in my Americana bin, and then I'll have them for next year. Uh, next up was Walmart. Showed you that. Farmer's Market shows you that, and then we also stopped at Home Goods, and I wanted to record in there, like do a follow me around, but the place was like packed, packed with period, you know. <laughs> um, so I just took a bunch of pictures. I'll insert them at the end. So let me show you what I got. If I can angle this down any. Hold on. Okay, if I push myself back, I think we're good. Um, got a butter dish. I've been on the hunt for a nice butter dish to have. Still not my favorite, but $5.99. This is what the lid looks like. So, all in all, very cute. Um, uh, so I got that, and this, it is one of those magnetic, that feels kind of, it's just a paper, a glued paper, you know, glued down paper. There's the front, there is the back. So I did get it for $9.99. I think this one, I picked this one out. Um, I think I'll keep it out here with my candle junk area and put some wax in it. And Mark picked this one out. It says give thanks. 
There is the back. And that was $6.99. Again with the opening with the magnetic closure. So yeah. Like that or yeah, like that or however. Um, he wants to put this one out in the um, family room. So because we have pictures that kind of match it. And last but not least, <clears throat> let me see if I can do this. Okay. The candle section. They had, and you'll see at the end, those, those pictures I put in the pumpkin donut by Yankee, the um, cinnamon meringue. I had such high hopes for those. And I did not like either one of them. The pumpkin donut was so-so. Uh, I smelled the pumpkin, but not really the donut. Not even a batter, not even a sweetness. Just pretty much pumpkin. They had a couple of village candles there. They had um, that, uh, I saw it on Lisa Loves Candles, her video. The Morning Roast Coffee by Yankee. They had tea lights in the uh, Witch's Brew from like last year's packaging. And then also in Red Berries. Uh, that's the only tea lights I saw. I almost got one of those Chesapeake, was it Chesapeake Bay candles or Chesapeake candles? Um, in the campfire marshmallow because it smelled like really creamy. But in the end, I just, nah. I, so I picked up this tri layered Yankee candle in, let me read it to you Harvest Trio. Apple crumble, apple and pumpkin picking, and a fall wreath. So there you have it. There's the back of it. Uh, $6.99 and it is, wow, gram equation, huh? 283 grams. Hmm. Um, well, there's the bottom if you want to see it. So. I like it. I definitely get, you know, it smells a lot like it's apple pumpkin with uh, cinnamon. And that, and, but it's supposed to be an apple crumble. Definitely get that. So that's really cute. Uh, that's all I got from Home Goods. Did pretty well. Um, so now I'm just going to chit chat with you. I got uh, an errand, well, a task I need to complete today. So I figured, well, if you want to stick around, I'll chit chat with you. So next up on my tasking list, tea lights. I got these back at Christmas time. I, I want to say they were uh, $2. You know, Walmart runs those um, deals. Uh, but now I think they run about $2.50, somewhere around there. It is 100 tea lights. My little glass jar ran out, so I want to refill it. Um, I just figure, you know, not much else going on. Of course, you know, I still got the regular stuff. I'm <laughs> watching my mouth. The regular stuff to do, like vacuum and wash. Well, my dishes are done. I need to do a little laundry. I need to scrub the floors. And what do you do on your days off? Instead of relaxing, you try to get stuff done around the house. So anyways, what I do with these, um, gosh, they feel actually kind of pretty cheap. I guess that's what you get for a hundred. Those are the mainstays. I'm curious how they burn. So I know they do tell me on the back how long they burn. Let me see. Um, okay. Um, burn four hours per use. That's not bad. I mean, if you have a good melt, you can put it in. Um, you know, you can put it in two of them, but let it cool down and put the other one in. Speaking of melts, I actually went through, let's see if I can find it. It was almost a half a tart left, a half a wax melt in the Colonial Candle Old Fashioned Lemonade. That's what I'm burning right now because I'm working really quick through my, my uh, burning melt bag. So per recommendation of 
uh, everybody saying what they get at the state fair or, and Chris said he uh, gets, um, actually it could be a she, I'm not sure, but gets uh, old fashioned or gets lemonade in like 20 different varieties. So I thought, well, I'll do a lemonade today and, that, and I'm on my second melt of it. And then when it's done, I'll switch back to my um, salt water taffy because yeah, the bag is like nearly done. I think I might do my empties next week. I'm not sure. Anyways, let me see if I can. I wonder. Hold on. You know what? I think that will work. I just want to show you what I'm up to so you have something to look at. So I'm just taking the tea lights, and what I do is put them in here uh, in a circle. I think this was a, I'm not sure, a cheerful giver candle many, many years ago. And when it was done, I just um, put it in the freezer, got out all the box I could, and then um, kind of poked out, you know, the, the metal wick holder and cleaned it up. And now I use it for my tea lights. I don't know if I like these tea lights. They are really a bit cheapy filling. Let me see if I can pop one out. Eh, no. So what's everybody been up to? Hmm, I have to think I've just been really working. Job kind of sucks. What do you do? And what else did I want to tell you? I had all kinds of stuff in my head. I said, when I get on the camera, because it's been a while since I've been on here, I thought, well, let me tell them everything that's going on. And here I am, and I can't think of anything. Heat must have got to my head. I'm not sure. But, um... Can you see that? Yeah. I'm, I don't know. Hmm. I know what I wanted to tell you. So I have a Yankee Candle order coming in the mail. I didn't take partake in any of that 50% off summer select scents because there was nothing on there I really wanted. It should be here. Uh, well, they sent me the tracking number yesterday. So probably what, Tuesday? Monday, Tuesday? And I also got in a Vintage Chic Scents Wax Haul for a change. I never, uh, well, this is really the first time I kind of stalked the website and really looked at what she was offering. And she was offering a lot of, um, uh, you know, fall scents, Halloween scents. So I did get one of her samplers and um, I actually think I got two samplers. The pumpkin one and the American Hauntings. So I'll be sharing those when they come in. Uh, what else? Um, Yankee Candle Open House is next weekend, the 27th. I plan to be there for that. I don't like my childers are stacking up, but it should be okay. I just worked my way through them. I've been using some, where's my wax? My tea lights. You know, I love those Yankee Candle tea lights. I don't know why. I've never liked them before. Now, all of a sudden, I just love them. Um, yeah, they're not in here. So, I've kind of been, like, hoarding them a little bit and trying to use these up. And the, I don't know the last kind I had, but they worked a lot better than the. Well, they seemed a lot more sturdier. I think they were probably better home and gardens. Tea lights. Yeah, this wax is really getting everywhere. So let me go and put the lid on that. So I filled that one up. So apparently they're, well, on some of those Facebook pages, they're circulating around a few pages of the Yankee Candle Halloween catalog. I'm not a bony bunch kind of gal. Um, I'm not that Sophia the Cat kind of gal either. And, but I am a candy corn. I love the candy corn. I love usually their votive cups they have. Uh, pumpkins, um, and what else? Um, well, I'm curious. I'm curious what they have. Oh, I saw the witch's boots. Somebody, who 
who was it in one of my comments said, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of your name, something red. Ah, I can see your picture too. Um, ah, anyway, she said about the, the boots were on eBay, so I went on there and looked. They're different, they're kind of like bat boots. I don't know if I like that. Oh, so I'm going to put the rest of my tea lights in here. And yes, very old tin. I went through a tin collection period. I'm sure a lot of, you know, people out there did back in the, uh, the 90s. So I guess, you know, by the 80s, I was still kind of young. So definitely the 90s. I think I'm going to just try to pick up the whole thing of plastic. You see, I have stored tea lights in here because of the um, little watch drippings. I wish I could remember your name. I can see your picture. But anyways, I digress, you know. So I went on there at eBay and looked. And I said, nah, not for me. I don't like the, um, well, I'm saying that now. I haven't seen them in person. I don't, you know, of course, change my mind in a heartbeat and feel like I must have them. But, um, oh, there's a picture on, I'm going to put on from Home Goods at the end. Well, I'll, I'll try to remember just to get at the last one so you can see it. It's a witch's hat and it has a skull. Now, I'm not a skull person, but I love that witch's hat. And even Mark goes, he said, those would go great with those boots. And I said, yes, I know the boots they had at Yankee Candle last year, which I never got a pair of those, but I got a pair you take put tea lights or votives in. Um, I seem kind of like that resin uh, stamped pattern. Really cute. So I will try to put that one in as my last one so you can see it when it pauses. I think this will work. I think I just need to, let me see, because the more I handle them, the more these little, uh, the, the little metal part bends. And then if you get them too bent up, and then when you go to light your wax and your tea light warmer, then it just goes, you know, it goes everywhere and I'll have to try to straighten them out. What else? So I got a couple hauls coming, which is cool. I got my paper pumpkin, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to get, you know, a little bit, you know, crafting back in, in into my life. I crafted years ago when the kids were little, and then um, I kind of stopped. And I've been saying for a while now I want to get back into, you know, doing crafts. So I'm glad I got that. Let's see here. I was going to go to Michael's today, but it's just hot. I'm like, skip Michael's. I wanted to go to Dollar Tree, skip Dollar Tree, because I need to get a new set of um, headphones. By one, kind of like the wire snapped. The, you know, it, it's sad because, you know, you hate, I'm looking forward to fall. Going to miss summer, but I'm ready for it to leave. But I'm not ready for cold weather yet. So kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. But I'm not digging the 94 degree temps. Okay, almost done. Making a mess. Always making a mess. This wax is actually soft. Wow. I hope they burn well. What do you think that is? A soy wax? Four hours. I don't know. I'm trying to get it so my fingers when I go in there to grab some. I don't have to, well, it seems like I always have to wash my hands after I handle, like, you know, tea, light warmers, etc. All right. Last one. Wow, that is soft. Okay. So, move that over. Can you see it? I got a little rip right there. So I can open it up and get to it. This fit pretty nice. I think I'll pay a little bit more next time for tea lights. Anyways, I see I'm at a 20 minute mark and that's just for me sitting here and then I got the rest of my stuff to, to add in. Cool. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. It was fun to chat with you guys. Let me know what's up if you care. Anyways, take care. Bye.